I suppose he just got fed up and decided to take matters into his own hands. Got the prisoners behind them and kept pushing until he reached the key. The cojones on that guy. You see his toughest supermax prison and he just waltzed the hell out of there like it was nothing. I would love to have been a part of that. I'm gonna guess it's not as simple as that. But that is all for now. Fine. Then get moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Before I head down there, though, I did want to just check uh, some of your shops out. Whoa. Man's on the move. Make sure I'm ready for it. Maybe even have my ship looked at. And totally not look around for incriminating evidence and clues. That looks like a conference room. I mean, I shouldn't be too surprised it's an old UC facility. But it looks like they've sort of kept it as a conference room. Which is a little... SSNN Crick's Interview Part 4. Tell us about your arrest. We got a bunch more parts around here. And I definitely want to find them. I know we probably shouldn't keep the boss waiting too long, but you know. I'm sort of saying I'm going to. Okay, so Neva and Delgado are still uh, here. Okay, well, obviously they've got preparations to do, which means they won't notice us being a tad on the tardy side. SSNN Crick's Interview Part 7. Let me just ask you one final question before we wrap up. Fine. Go ahead. When 
when is enough going to be enough? How many credits does Jasper Cricks need until he's satisfied? I should have expected you to ask such a stupid question. How the hell could you ever understand? You with your fancy education, and your sheltered upbringing, and your cushy media job? Me? I came from nothing. Everything I own, I've literally drawn blood to gain. There's no need to get personal. I'm simply trying to state the facts so that our listeners can make judgments of their own. Mm. Lady, I got news for you. Half of your listeners think I'm a hero. The other half are scared out of their goddamn minds. And they should be. Perhaps we should talk about something else. No. That's it. We're done. Can you guys get her the hell out of here? Make sure she takes all this sound equipment with her. Well, that's it then. Thank you for your... Actually, before you go, Gail, there's one more thing I would like to say. Yes, of course. Uh, what is it? When you broadcast this interview on SSNN, I want you to remember that I'll be listening. If you edit even one word or manipulate my voice to change anything I've said, I will hunt you down and kill you in front of everyone. Do you understand? I, uh, I understand. You have my word. Okay, that's one way to ensure journalistic integrity, I guess. Yeah. I always thought heat leeches were just pests. Never considered trying to raise one as a pet. Imagine having your own terror Oh yeah, you should totally do that. That sounds like a superb idea. You, you do that. Darwin Award winner right there. Mira's demise evidence. Okay. So wait, say that again. You think I'm who? Stop playing games. We both know your real name is Lionel Soto. And you know why I'm here. Who are you? Fleet? Ecliptic? An independent? I've spent two long years and every credit I had looking for you. Just so I could look you in the eye before I pulled the trigger. Hey, what's with the gun? There must be some mistake. I honestly don't know who you are. Of course you don't know who I am. You're never concerned with the death you leave in your wake, in your pursuit of greed. You killed my husband, you son of a bitch! And now I'm going to kill you! Oh. Ah, such a terrible shame. All that time and money she wasted. Ah, well. Better get rid of the body. Okay. Yeah. Uh... Oh, it's Mr. Heat Leech. Okay. Right. We should get that back to the lieutenant smuggling stealing pirating there's a lot of ways to earn some scratch and the rep yep 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 apparently so peak performance adds five percent to unarmed damage ask jazz about any ship upgrades nothing worse than a pirate ship with no personality totally agreed okay interview part two where did your stellarized infamy begin in the streets of New Atlantis. No parents, no godparents. Just a homeless punk kid robbing whoever he could for the credits. Were these violent crimes? Murders? I'm a bit offended you even asked that question, Gail. Sure, a few people here and there walked away with injuries, but I'm not some kind of butcher. That doesn't sound as heartless as your reputation would imply. Mm. Uh, like I said, I was just a kid. Were you ever caught by the authorities in New Atlantis? Oh, dozens of times. I'd just give them a fake name or they just slap me on the wrist and send me on my way. They obviously didn't think that I'd amount to anything and didn't want to waste their time with rehabilitation. What changed that? 
Was it the robbery in 2218? 2218. Hmm. Oh, yeah. The Gal Bank archives. Very good, Gail. I see you've done your research. That would be when I rounded up a few of my buddies and we knocked the place over. Made off with a ton of credits. <sighs> my first big score. Is that why the Crimson Scar decided to bring you into their ranks? That's right. They brought me in, taught me the ropes, and I did crimes for them for... Oh, five years. Until I decided style. I wanted more. I got rid of their leader, put myself in his place, and started running the show. I've been the one in charge ever since. Was it absolutely necessary to cut his throat and leave the body on a public street in the well? On the street, reputation is everything. I wanted everyone in the city to know that Jasper Cricks was taken over. I think they got the message. Yeah, definitely. What? Okay, could I? Could you just? Look, I don't want to stand on you, and I'm worried if I go that way, Vasco's going to stand on you. And trust me, if anyone's got to stand on you, you see, sis, deaf is a joke. They haven't caught us yet. No, oh, no, totally. They'll never catch us. We're far too clever for that. Crimson Fleet Mission Board. Piracy, piracy, smuggle. Okay, mm, maybe later. I've got a, a much like more. I'm lifting later. I can spot you. Uh, I'm I'm good, thanks. Okay. Someone seems awfully keen to get my attention. I think we'll leave checking the bar out until after the mission with Delgado. I mean, I doubt they care too much if you turn up for a job drunk as long as you can get the job done. But, you know, being late because I was doing karaoke or something. Every has earned their stripes, bleeding for the fleet. That's nice. I shall endeavor to help them do more of it. Clinic. Hello, Doc. Got some health issues you need help with? Not really, First I'm just... time visiting the infirmary, huh? Let me give you a piece of advice. Is it don't Try get shot? Try not to get into too many bar fights. Ooh. Trying to save my dwindling Cops. supplies for sale and pirates coming in off of raids. Okay, you... <laughs> I'm practically bulletproof. The only medical supplies I ever need are the kind that get me zoned out. Are you a... Are you a real doctor? I think that's a valid question. I've done my time, but thanks to a malpractice suit, I've officially dropped the doctor title. Okay. Don't let that worry you. I'm still just as good, if not better, than half the surgeons at the clinic. All right, fine. Well, you won't need to worry about me. I'm practically bulletproof. <laughs> That's what they all say, until they stumble in bleeding out on my floor. Well, I'm not so grenade-proof. You need med packs, curatives, preventatives. I've got you covered. At least as long as my current supply holds out. Actually, believe it or not, I'm You need enhancers, good? legal or illegal? I've got those too. You sell illegal chems in a med bed. <laughs> you sell... I'll keep all that in mind if I need anything. Hopefully, that won't be often. Uh, now, honestly... Now, if you don't need anything else, I've got a particularly annoying supply issue to deal with. Uh, okay. Maybe I can help out with the supply issue. I bet being a medic on the key keeps you pretty busy. I bet it does, actually. You'd think most of the injuries I treat are from run-ins with security or civilians taking a stand. No. I'd say at least half are just life on the key. Brawls, egos, and plain old stupidity. Yeah, I've... At least it keeps me busy. I saw that on the way in. Really. Uh, maybe I can help out with your supply issue. Don't mind being helpful. Now, there's an offer I didn't expect. I'm if such you really a helpful want to person. help, I'm looking for someone who can handle themselves in a public setting. As in someone who knows how to get the job done without shooting up the place. Ooh, difficult, but you know what? Uh, what about the medical supplies on the Regana? I got some medical supplies. I did, while I was on the Regana. That's not going to help. That mm -hmm. ship was full of things like cots, flu shots, and children's vitamins. Okay. And I can't exactly plug a bullet wound with an Ashta chewable. Okay. Fine, look. 
I didn't say I'd do it for free. Ah, oh, no, yeah. No, no, you're going to have to pay me, you know. I'm a ardent pirate, me. Do you really think I'd be offering you a job without pay? This is my first rodeo. Well, I'm just... I politely requested a list of supplies from Gennady Ayton at the clinic and was told the price of business has gone up. I think he's back on Aurora and he's upcharging me to pay for it. And if there's one thing I'm not going to do is subsidize his habit. Okay. I want you to make sure he delivers my supplies for the price we agreed on, but without raising any alarms. I can do that. If he doesn't cooperate, I hope he responds well to the Why don't I just steal the supplies from somewhere else? It's a good question. Oh, we will. But this way, I'm guaranteed the highest quality supplies from one of the best medical facilities in the settled systems. Plus, if Gennady does what he's supposed to do, he'll cover our tracks. Okay. Fine, I'll get those supplies and no one will get hurt. We'll see. Talk is one thing, actions are another. And I'm great at both. Yes, and you turned away. I was, I was, that was, I was given a line there. Fine. What medical supplies? Medical, recreational, whatever you need. Are you selling? Yeah, let's have a look. Aid. Yeah, the usual. Here's the thing. Once upon a time, I was in desperate need. Oh, I don't want to sell from the heavy hopper. I want to sell. For Once upon a time, I was in dire need, but I've now got. 24 trauma packs, 56 med packs, and emergency kits, which are even better. I'm like, that scavenger perk is really uh, earning its money, so to speak. Down the fact that it gave me the ship crew skill, which is still annoying me. You know what? Anyway, thanks. I'm just, I was... Wait, Gen Gennady has an Aurora habit? Don't I have a job for someone there? I do. Could be a good opportunity. They have an Aurora habit? Oh, yeah. The funny thing is, he's the poster boy for upstanding moral citizens. Okay. Mm -hmm. Top of the class at nursing school, did volunteer work in backwater settlements, a reputation you could eat your food off of. Nobody knows he did it all zoned out of his mind. Nobody except his old boss, me. Mm -hmm. He said he got clean when he joined the clinic, but now I wonder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, did Gennady actually give a reason for the price change? A bullshit one, yeah. Gennady claims prices have gone up for the clinic as a whole, and that I'm not the only doc being hit. He says if I want cheaper goods, I'm going to have to find another supplier. He even gave me a list. But I'm not turning to some third-rate doc selling meds out of their space truck. Gennady and I had a deal, and I want him to honor it. Okay, fine, I will look into it. Take care it. of yourself. Yep, I will do that. Do I see any, uh... Sorry, I'm, um... I'm new to the place. I'm just getting the lay of the land, you know? Okay. Don't need that. Chunks employee handbook. Really? That's your idea of... Well, I was going to say light reading? Is that another entrance to the bar? I think that might be another entrance to the bar. Re we're going to check the bar out. Another time. Zuri's essential. Yeah. Oh. What's this? Closed is what it is. As to the docking ports. Zuri. We met earlier. Hello. See anything you like? What exactly do you sell here? I sell a little bit of everything, but only if it's hard to find, and only for a high price. Okay. Neuro amps, a few unique resources. Maybe a specialized yeah, weapon or two. Anything oh. that's rare and in high demand. And how did you end up with the fleet? I was raised fleet. My mama joined up when I was 12. She was a first class smuggler. Smuggling. We always lived comfortably, but she took the offer to join when a job almost went south. She figured if anything ever happened to her, it guarantee I'd still have a home. Okay. I question those parenting skills. I. Uh, did you ever get out of here and try to go legit? Hell no. The two things I don't want in this life, a real boss and customers that I can't shoot in the face if they piss me off. Dell lets me do what I want to here as long as he knows I'm loyal to the fleet. I sell uh, what I want, I work when I want, I do what I want. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, perfectly fine with the fact that lots of people get shot and murdered. In the process. Okay. Um, I bet growing up in this lifestyle was quite the adventure. It's been non-stop. 
Even as a kid, I was helping distract security in those smuggling days. It's amazing how just having a child aboard, especially one as cute as I was, can throw off the scent. Between my mama and the fleet, I can talk my way out of anything and use okay. or fix any weapon and ship in the galaxy. Real life skills, if you know what I mean. Uh, hire you if... Uh, okay, let's see what you got. Hey, I'm always ready to take credits off your hands. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Let's have a look. First of all, you... Ooh. Okay, I don't need it. And I'm not going to buy it right now, but I don't have one. So that's sort of interesting. Professional rate. Okay. You got... Hunter Wolf. Okay, this does more damage against aliens. Thing is, is it's not very much damage. I mean, it really is not particularly... All right, what the hell is that? One inch punch, rounds fire in a shotgun-like... What the hell is that? I kind of feel it looks like one of those drum beats. It is, it's a drum beat called Power Beat. It's a drum, it's a shotgun version of it. I don't know if it's any good. I really don't think that's any good. In fact, I think that's kind of crap. Exterminator. You know what? I got money to spare, don't I? I got money to spare. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm planning, I'm saving up to buy like an absolute super mega ship. I'm going to buy some crappy cheap thing or take something from someone and then I'm going to pimp it out and make a monster city ship type thing. But I could probably buy a couple of weapons in the meantime. So, you know what? Let's, let's just take those off your hand and see... I could probably have worn my uh, other spacesuit. Looks like they're selling them here. Okay, I don't hate that. And it's got more physical and EM than my current one. I do not hate that. I do hate the price, though. I hate the price for a spacesuit. Yeah, ecliptic. Who wants to look like ecliptic? Nobody. Nobody. Wait. Wait, what? Neurocom Mark One. What the what the hell is this? Space under we Oh It's on my face. It gives me five percent diplomacy chance. This gives me ten percent intimidation chance. What exactly is that though? You know what? I don't hate it, and it's only worth five thousand. Oh my god, I'm gonna end up poor. Ish. I mean not really, but High Tensile Spidroin. I always need those. Yes, I do. As odd as that might seem. Right, let's see what I can sell you then. Okay. I hope you came with credits. You've got quite a few of my credits, so no complaining. All right, I'm going to have to try this out. Although, probably should try it on the range or in actual combat. Trade Authority. You have something for me? Ah, I know that name, huh? What'll it be, friend? Buying, selling? The Trade Authority takes anything and everything. Hmm. What's with the suit? Yeah, what's with the suit? Well, a well-kept appearance gives the impression of a respectable establishment. The more respectable the place, the more credits people are willing to pay. Okay. I'm just here to see what the, the depot has to offer. The fleet's got an impressive commerce system. Okay. They even manage a legitimate doctor among their ranks. Business on the key is like no other. It's the sole reason I'm here. For the credits. Right. If credits are all you want, you'll fit right in. I figured the key was for Crimson Fleet only. There are a few who share that sentiment. You'd think a successful business relationship would change their minds, but a few will always see me as an outsider. Regardless, as long as the fleet has goods to push, the Trade Authority will always maintain a presence on the key. Okay. So how did you end up working for the Trade Authority? Let's just say I've done my fair share of questionable activities in the past. With the credits I amassed, 
I gave the trade authority a sizable donation in exchange for a clean slate and a stable job. So, here I am, at your service. Okay. You ever consider joining the fleet? I left a similar lifestyle behind when I joined the trade authority and never looked back. Right, and I guess... Not you see freedom and lawlessness, but that's only if you don't get caught. True freedom is not having a bounty on your head with every cop and mercenary out to get you. Plus, you can just walk out of here and that's fine because you're not fleet. Therefore, you can leave. Let's talk business. Always looking forward to something mutually beneficial. Hmm. Yeah. So. Sharks are too scared to take the key because it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Did what she say make any sense to you? Closed. Okay. Well, I'm not one for following the rules. Why is this closed? Public access computer. All right. Bog's rules for Nova. Don't annoy me. Everyone's drink. Everyone drinks. Sober, get out. Drink at your own risk. No killing unless they deserve it. Got a grudge, spit it out. I'm a bartender. I don't read minds. No peeing on the walls. No hogging the ping pong table. I pick the music. Bog. Okay. Guessing that's the barkeep. Messages from Shinya Voss. Credits are the lifeblood of the fleet. Our entire operation would not exist if not for the blood, sweat, and bullets of the pirates doing the work and the consil consolidation of their earnings here at the quay. So let me make myself clear. While we have facilities outside the quay, I expect any funds outside of standard operational costs to be brought back to the Reckoner's core. We've had incidents where fleet members have taken over operations on various planets throughout the settled systems and skimmed a little too much off the top. Suffice to say, they paid a steep price for their lack of transparency. Make sure you don't do the same, Shinya Boss, Fleet Reckoner. Repair your damn ship. It doesn't matter if you think your bird is clean when you dot check with Jazz and her team to do a full repair and scan your ship for any dings or bugs. Security on this station isn't just about the swarm of patrols we got out there, or the three large batteries orbiting the key. Okay, swarm of patrols, three large batteries orbiting the key. It's the little things, the details. We gotta make sure to mine them. She's right, I like her attitude. I also like the fact that I've got some more intel here. Weight room etiquette. Ooh, as the doctor on this ship, I just want to remind everyone of weight room etiquette. Wipe down your equipment. Bacteria grows in damp, warm areas. Wipe everything your skin touches. That includes the barbells and plates. Two, spotting. Let's avoid back injuries. <laughs> if someone requests that you spot them, do it. And don't forget to ask how you want to be spotted. Some people like a little help lifting off. Three, rotating in. If there's no free benches, it's always good to let others rotate in between your sets. Find some on your side so you don't have to change things up. Just remember to follow rule number one. Samina. I can't get over this. We're, we're, in, we're in a pirate base. And there's all these little rules about repairing your ship and weight room etiquette. And it all makes perfect sense. What's weird is, in some ways, this feels more, you know, ship shape and Bristol fashion than some of the main settlements I've been on. Message board. I suppose it would have to be. Almost military in, in a weird, relaxed kind of way. Iceball Tours. Delgato still taking rooks on tour of that old prison. I wonder if there's still some good loot down there. I've got a cutter that will split an iceberg and I've been itching to use it. Captain's Quarters. The captains are barely here. Why should we... Why should they get the best bunks? I think room should be first come, first serve. It's not my fault Kemp spends so much time in Sidonia. Mathis Castillo. All right. Anyone meet the new rook, Math Mathis? I'd stay the hell away from him. It's nothing personal. The man puts in the work. He's just a walking black cat. Every job I've ever done with the bloke ended badly. I was there when he set up a chem deal in the same joint squad of off-duty sysdef agents decided to have breakfast. Street rats call him Hex. Look the word up. It don't mean good things. It's not possible he's another plant, is it? Captain's quarters. You sure you want Adler's bunk? That bed smells like 
Erde brow and cheap aftershave. As far as I'm concerned, that entire room needs to be corned off with hazard signs and caution tape. Okay. Kill for some chicken chunks. I'd kill for some chicken chunks right now. I would literally grab someone's throat and choke the life out of him if it meant chunks were my next meal. I would throw his lifeless body on the deck of a cis death ship and tell the captain I'd murdered this man if they had chunks in their brig. I would have them toss me in some maximum security prison with no hope of parole if they had chunks in the cafeteria. I would let them put me on death row and end my life if they guaranteed chunks would be my last meal. I'd kill my own damn self for a bucket of chunks. There is somebody who really wants some chicken chunks. Missing Wilby. Someone stole my friend Wilby. Oh, it's one of those little plushy things, isn't it? And since you're all pirates, every single one of you is a suspect. I need that thing to sleep, so I'd better have it back by my bunk. In my bunk by tomorrow, otherwise there will be hell to pay hell. Okay, seriously, what sort of pirates have I got myself involved with? Okay. Hey, I'm a pirate, right? I'm a pirate. It's probably expected of me. In fact, they'd be suspicious if I didn't do it. Although there are probably rules about this sort of thing. Yeah, you know what? Pfft, just gonna be selling that stuff anyway. All right, let's have a listen. So, tell us about Jasper Crix's version of the Crimson Scar. All I can tell you is that under my guidance, the Crimson Scar became more influential than every other syndicate combined. Here I was, 22 years old, and I had power, people that followed my orders, and an endless stream of credits. Gail, I have to tell you, I was having the time of my life. So you consider extortion, robbery, burglary, kidnapping, assault, and murder to be positive life influences? No. I'd consider them as just means to an end. Those so-called crimes were merely stepping stones until I had enough wealth to buy the Crimson Scar a few spacecraft. Yes, let's talk about that. It appears you weren't satisfied with terrorizing New Atlantis alone. Oh, I've never stopped reaching, Gail. The amount of money we were making in New Atlantis was decent, but the really big scores were in space and the cargo ships. We're talking millions of credits, maybe more. <laughs> Who the hell could count it all? Most people assume this is when the UC decided to actively set up a task force to pursue the Crimson Scar. That's correct. Those idiots in charge of the United Colonies were clearly embarrassed that they had allowed the Crimson Scar to make the jump into space. They sent ships after us. Lots of ships. I almost think that they enjoy starting wars. Mm. Perhaps this was the first time you had finally reached too far. You could say that. I count my time running the Crimson Scar as a learning experience. Huh. I wouldn't say I reached too far. I'd say I reached too fast. Didn't cover all my bases, made some stupid mistakes. One thing's for certain, though. When I was finally arrested and thrown into the lock, I had plenty to think about. Hmm. Uh, to plan and do it all better next time, right? Yeah. Don't trip. See? They even have helpful safety warnings. Okay. Okay, it's just the upper areas. Do you think they'd object if I started shooting heat leeches? I heard yeah. Isla's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I wouldn't get on her bad side. Right, thanks for the advice. I'm sure I'll remember to follow that. Credits this time? Oh, I'm telling you. They're shorting us. Okay, right. This is cut right. No? Full circle. Okay, hello. Please tell me you know exactly what materials you need. I probably don't. I don't need to hear about your latest project. I just sell the materials. 
What materials exactly? It's a general store, which means I sell general goods. Mostly junk that no one else wants to carry. Okay. Raw materials, blueprints, spare parts. Fascinating, I know. How the hell did you end up in a flea? And more importantly, how the hell did you end up as a shopkeeper? You do not like your job. I don't do small talk. You want to do business? We'll do business. You want to chat? Go see Bog. Okay. Fine. Let me see what you've got. This better be worth it. Why do I feel like you should be wearing fake vampire teeth or something? Let's have a look. You've got... Crap. Oh, you got shit parts? You know what? I take it back. That's not necessarily crap. That was the thing. I've got a load of those now. I don't think I actually need it. But I'll tell you what I still do need. Do you have it? No, we don't. We don't have any of those. I can never remember what they're called until I see them. Titanium, we might need. No, I'm not going to buy any of that either. No, nope, thank you very much. You've been extremely yeah. unpleasant. Um. You want to survive? My gear may not be bulletproof, but it's damn near close. All right, let's have a look. Heading out. May, uh, want to look into some armor upgrades first. Okay, what do you specialize in? Well, only the best tactical gear to protect your ass this side of the galaxy. Metal plated for when you're up against bullets. Leather for those jobs that might require a subtle touch. All okay. made by yours truly, of course. Will you say for subtle a touch? Few used odds and ends that no one's going to miss. Please tell me when you say subtle touch, you mean like, like, like stealthy, clandestine, and not anything else. Do you ever head out on the raids with the others? I'm guessing not. But me? Nah, not anymore. When it comes to aim, there ain't no one worse. True facts. I mean, my friends like to say I'd have better luck talking someone to death than shooting them. Yep, my talents are best suited for making protective gear. Helmets, vests, suits. You could say I'm a tailor, not a fighter. Fair enough. Let's see what you got. Tactical gear is my specialty. Don't leave the key without it. All right, well, you know, we'll, 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 yeah, you got a cutter. You've got an advanced pirate assault suit. I don't hate the way that looks. I do not hate the way that looks. An advanced pirate sniper suit, calibrated deep, okay. Are any of them actually any good though? Answer, no, not really. Let's have a look. And they look damned, they're actually better protection than my current one, although that's not that hard. Um, oh God. Yeah, you know what, I, I think I'm, Okay. That's pirate swashbuckling gear, is it? I sort of hate it, but I sort of don't. Pirate crew outfit. Uh no, I'm 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 good. Thank you very much. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Especially to the See pirate you. gear. But I didn't hate it. I just Sort of felt like I should. Looking to make quick work of your enemies? Maybe. Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Well, I'm heading back to my ship. I've got a mission to do. I'm just sort of meandering side to side whilst I do it. I figured, eh, you know. Not much of a corner if you ask me. Let's not be rude. What are you selling? Take a look around, genius. And don't tell me you've never laid eyes on a Please don't say before. weapons. No, I meant but specifically. Just in case I need to spell it out for you. The merch I carry is known as weapons and ammunition. I meant do you have Get anything it? special? Anything interesting? You know what? Skip the intro. Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. I thought maybe you said, I, I have most of the standard this hardware. very special you know, gun. Kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. Basically, the stuff Sistev doesn't want you to play with. Now Just you're talking. Just screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. 
with your head as the target. You see, now you're talking. Let me guess, trust issues. The threat might work if I was at least bit intimidated by No, you're very intimidating. Uh, let me guess, trust issues. Oh, we all have trust issues here. A little advice, Sadiqui? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Okay. Pure and simple. Okay. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. Thanks for the etiquette. Let's suspect this route. Ooh. Yeah, the way you said that, this is personal for you, isn't it? Oh, please. I don't need your concern. Mm. All I care about is separating you from your credits. So let's leave our professional relationship at that. All right? Okay. Are you the most popular shop here? Fine, show me what you're going to stock. Take your pick. All right, let's have a look. Advanced Kraken. No, Advanced Novalite. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see Feather, Rare Rifle. Oh, the thing is, is it's crap. I think. I mean, I've already bought one crap weapon just because it had a name. This is, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, uh, what's it? I can never remember the name of these damn things. They're written on it somewhere, isn't it? What is it called? Can't remember. Okay, I mean, it looks, is it one of the ones that I've already seen? I think it is. But it looks nice. Titanium build. Premium weapon materials make this weapon light as a feather. I mean, that's nice and everything, but it's just kind of me. I guess it's fully automatic. It's probably not. I could... All right. Fury. Again, though. Look. I mean... It's just not very good. Pirate Ledge... Oh, I mean... It's just... It's awful. No offense, miss, but you know. See, that's more like it. Damage-wise, but... Uh... All right. See you around. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Docking ports. Was there anything else? Oh, I forgot to just check around for recordings. I didn't see anything over there. I mean, I should also remember I'm not just looking for interesting interview recordings. Is this your stock? I kind of feel like, yeah, this is someone's stock, isn't it? All right, okay, never mind. Um, excuse me, Vasco, excuse me. Yeah. Have I been that way? Need a drink? Bug at the last Nova will be more than happy to take your credits. Oh, that's where we came through. Yeah, yeah, I will check out the bar later on. I'm on my way to my ship. I'm just taking the circuitous route. You know, getting... Healthy relationship right there. Right, what was I saying? Did you pick... Oh, can I borrow that? Thank you. You never know when you will need more of these. Smuggling beats a real job any day. God, are you guys you working on... start something? Because I'll finish it. I was just going to ask what you were doing. Oh, my God. The seriously unpleasant... Cranky attitudes going on here. Okay, that goes up to the upper areas. Did I miss anything? Hello. I'm busy getting lost. Very lost. All right, I think that's it. I think pretty much there's probably a load of places I've not checked. You see system sharks, but to the fleet, they are just bait. Okay, got it. Okay, that's Jazz. Hello, Jazz. You know what? I will probably, I will. this was the best way to stay alive. You obey you, huh? Might want to keep that to yourself. Why? Okay. Does 
you. Might want to kit yourself out for the trip below. Just saying. I'm sort of doing that. I'm sort of doing that. Right, okay. Uh, I will be back. Jazz, I may need some changes to the ship, but I... As long as you put the fleet first, we won't have any problems. Well, I guess if you've not left, Delgado's not left either. Okay. The docking bay. So I've actually still got some time. I can still... That's the guy in the trade authority? I know. I, I'm totally with you. Do you mind if I just have a quick listen to this? I'm, I'm an extremely nosy person. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this is Galactalk. My guest tonight is one of the most notorious criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of the self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then Grav jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Well, I'm sure you're not surprised that your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. Do they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Crix is moving on to bigger and better things in his life? That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly what your particular leap entails? In due time. There's no rush. In fact, I'd say we have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever you like. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Perhaps the best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your career. Please, proceed. I'm a little confused. This sounds like he was free at this point, but it sounded a bit like she was interviewing him after he was captured and put in... Brooke? Uh, hi. I am... Maybe I should have been paying a little more attention when when I was asked to pick up these things, but I thought this was... Oh, it was probably an interview after he escaped from the key, right? It was almost certainly that. I just, for some reason, thought it was while he was still in the key and she was... Because she was asking some somewhat rude questions that made me think she sounds confident that she's not going to get her face ripped off. Now I'm beginning to think maybe she was just kind of stupid enough to make insulting and threatening comments to a pirate. What kind of name is Sis Def anyway? Uh. Okay. Got mixed feelings about my last job. On the one hand, lost a friend. But on the other hand, I got their credits. I'll probably feel better once I spend them. Oh, what well, a healthy attitude. Yes, well done. Well done. You are a shining example of how to pick yourself up after falling over and completely lose your humanity. 